Hello everyone, this is Marcus. Today I'll show you how to read and write files using Python. First let's turn it on. Okay. Now, from the previous videos, we learned how to get data from the user and how to output data to the user via the shell, as in this video, window. But let's say we want to do the same thing except with files, that is get data from files and output data or write data to files. How do we do that? Well, rather than ask someone to do that for us, we can just use the Python's inbuilt function open and write. So how do we use it? Well, first we need to make a file. Let's start with a variable. I'll create the variable file1 followed by an equal sign, followed by the function open. The open function will either open an existing file for reading or open an existing file or new file for writing. So this is a new file, so I'm just going to create a new one. I will call it text1.txt. But that's not the only argument you should pass. You should also pass the permission, which is either the read or the write. So what is read and write? Well, if you want to read something from an existing document, we have to use the read permission or R. But if you wanted to do the other way, that is write data into a file, either a new one or an existing one, we'll have to use W. So this is a new file, so I'm going to keep W. Next, how do you write data into the file? Well, you can write anything. So I just keep the variable name, followed by a dot, followed by the method name, which is write. And inside the brackets, I just need to keep what I wanted to write. I'll just keep hello. Now, not one thing open is a function because there is no dot followed by some variable name however write is a method because it applies to a specific thing in this case the file variable now let's run this i'll first save it and let's run it we didn't get any output, but look what the code does. It adds data to a file. It doesn't print it to the Python shell. So let's check in the file manager. But we didn't, we didn't get anything. Why is that? Well, in Python, once you make any changes to your document, you will have to close the file. How do you do that? Just like this. The variable name followed by a dot, this is a method, followed by the close. Now let's run it. You see that? We got it. So whenever you're finished with doing something with files, whether it be reading them or writing them, it's always important to close them. Otherwise, you'll get what is called a resource leak. This may not have any reasonable effect, but it may cause problems later on, especially if you're going to use that file for other cases. Now, let's say you want to do the opposite, read stuff from the files. How do you do that? Well, I'll just start with the variable name, followed by an equal sign, followed by the open parameter. Then in the brackets, I just keep the file I want to read. I'll just use the same file. Followed by the permission. This time I just want to read data. So I'll just use this. Now, how do you think we can get the data from that? You may be tempted to use this. But look what happened. 
instead of getting the data, we got this. This is just the file information that Python retrieved by using the read keyword. If you want to get data from files, you have to do it a little differently. You have to use a for loop. So for i in file2, read every single line in a file, press enter, then you can print i. See that? Now we're good. Now let's say we want something different. Let's say instead of one line, I have multiple lines. How will we add multiple lines? Well, we just use the keyword slash n, that to a black slash. So what I just did was keep hello, I am Smaran, separated by a new line, that is this slash n character. If I wanted a tab space, I could just do it like this, a slash t. Let's run this. Well, look, I got a new line. Now, here's a problem you may notice. If I were to create a list, let's call it list one, and if I were to append each value to that list, Well, it has done it, but let's see what is the output. Uh oh. Along with the word, we also got this slash n. Because when we print output, the slash n translates into a new line. But in this case, it just translates as a text. So how do we get rid of that? We can use the dot strip. and ask it to strip the slash n. But this will only work for strings. So I'll need to put this inside. There we go. We got rid of the slash n. Notice how there isn't any slash n for the last word, smaran. But even so, it just ignored it. So if you want to write data to a file, you have to use the write permission and then the write method. But after that, you'll need to use the close method, which applies here as well. And if you want to read data from the file, you do the same thing, except that you set the write permission as a read permission and you don't directly print the file object. You just get each line of the data using a for loop. And whenever the data involves new lines, you have to get rid of them, if you want to, that is. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.